Hello, welcome to Sun, Moon, Star, Tarot, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. These next four bell sounds are to align us and to bless this reading. This reading is going to be for, for Gemini Sun, <laughs> Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising. Excuse me, I don't know why that happened. I have that mouth blah. All right, so, right, so we're going to do overall energy, your challenge for the month, your outcome for that said challenge, and your overall advice here, right? So my first thing is I'm going to be pulling an archetype card for you guys. So Spirit, uh, Gemini, Spirit, I guess. What is the overall message or overall archetype for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Light in this month? What is overall archetype for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Light in this month? Right. Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon. Uh, can you give us like three? Too many. And <laughs> Gemini Rising. And one more shuffle. All right. Um, actually, this one. All right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we have Vampire. Make sure you're aware that someone or something is draining your life force depleting others of for your psychic survival chronic complaining and codependency all right so for this one oh wow and then we have rescuer provides strength and support to others in crisis acts out of love with no exception or of reward assumes the rescued will reciprocate keeps the rescued one needy and also codependency here so we have two cards about codependency wow so i um, won't be surprised if the challenge has something to do with codependency uh but make sure that something or someone is draining your life force so there may be something in the past at this time that is really kind of taking your energy away from you and you're needing to call that energy back to yourself at this time all right we do have the sun so everything is working out in your favor this is simply less than we do have a knight of swords here knight of swords is someone who charges in but someone who is very logical very methodical has their shit together basically all right so your challenge we want to do that one first we challenge the king of wands and interesting because we do have the king of wands here as well so very interesting king of wands can be someone who is overly excitable overly does it like a little bit too much so kind of keeping that in mind and your overall vibe of the month or vibe of the month is queen of cups three of swords very interesting i'm getting that these are two different energies here automatically they kind of split in my head um perhaps this Perhaps this through your swords energy is what's driven this life force energy that uh, this card is. I'm going to use my Osho Zen. Uh, please clarify. Excuse me. So we have a king. This is the king of wands again. Okay. I don't know what they're trying to say here. That's king of wands three times now. One more, please. Clarify through your souls. We have Bell and Illusion. So kind of, I guess, tapping into your creativity at this time to see past beyond this illusion. And actually, this is what the Three of Swords is really about: is using, um, like, using your intuition to be, using your intuition to basically kind of tap into this energy source and to tap into whatever seems to be draining you and kind of going from there. So this is kind of like. You needing to develop your intuition at this time and using art to do that maybe you connect more directly with your intuition when you don't know you're doing it i keep saying intuition because we do have intuition card here so developing your intuition this month uh perhaps because because of this heartbreak i'm getting that this is something that is being clung to basically it's not like something that's even like in your life right now because your challenge here is king of wands so your challenge here is getting in touch with your creativity, getting in touch with your spirit in a way. All right, so they say clarify this, so I'm going to clarify it. Uh, clarify King of Wands here, please. Clarify King of Wands here. All right, so we have, we have Three of Swords. So cute, so funny. And we have the Source here. So that's Ace of, Ace of um, Wands there. So basically, it's like this Three of Swords energy really is blocking your intuition. Your intuition is being blocked at this time. All right. 
outcome we have the lovers you have your energy here so this is you kind of merging back with your energy gemini and arriving at a place to where you are you again this is a very interesting spread like i haven't read for gemini energy in a while so maybe this is why but this is very highly like this happens and then this happens and this happens so you're overall i guess <laughs> this is you connecting back with yourself or connecting with a source basically uh divine consciousness doesn't have to be you and then it's like you merging from within in a way we have why questioning everything at this time this is a very interesting spread <laughs> and we have death here scorpio energy so you kind of having an ego death in a way i believe as well but really we have working on yourself as well and then oh this makes sense so we have a, a divine counterpart here queen of cups king of cups the lovers working on your so working on yourself working past this apathy and this confusion as well uh what are they saying for me to do all right they said a little bit more clarification for this outcome here a very interesting spot as I keep saying. Oh, we have blessed coming in, my favorite card. So, like, you kind of letting go of this vampiric attachment really bless you, basically. Oh, thank you. Material world. So you like merging with the material world at this time and like you being able to call on what you yeah i can't i guess i can't get away from that and then we have commitment here so yeah definitely commitment is coming in all right oh we have abandoned though deception forgiveness yeah so there is some stuff needing to be worked through here it's abandonment issues deceptions from the past clinging basically Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. If, if you found this video to be helpful, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do know that I'm offering a powerful six-week mentorship program about expanding your spirituality. If you're interested in everything, everything you need to know, it's in the description box down below, including my landing page, www.spiritualgenia.com. You can book your free consultation call there, which is 30 minutes. You can also follow me on Instagram at spiritualgenia, and you can book your one-to-one -one private reading with me at www.thesubmoonstarts.com. Thank you so much for watching. Namaste.